Hello, this is Lakshmi Kantiwari. In this video tutorial, we will learn about the multi -sim. So here we are gonna see how we can use this multi -sim. Here is a menu bar. In menu bar, you can see file and you can create a new design. You can open a design which you are already created or you can open a some sample design. And you can close some design from here and you can save it fine and into the edit you can undo and you can set the graphics annotations order and layer types uh, and the layer settings fine into the place you can place the components and you can place the probe such as voltage current power probes junctions you can place or you can use a control and j okay and similarly you can place the comment text and the graphics fine so now let me tell you one more thing about it here is a component toolbar okay so very first one is a source and second one is the basic components and here you can place a diode you can search for transistors you can search for analog devices such as op amps here you can search for a TTL digital logic devices, CMOS devices and you can find some another miscellaneous digital devices and so many other devices such as advanced peripherals, RF peripherals and MCU and and here is an instrumentation toolbar in the very first one you can see multimeter and then you can place a function generator, watt meter and oscilloscope and four channel oscilloscope and so many other so now let me show you how to design a non-inverting amplifier so that we can learn how to pick the components and how we can connect those junctions with each other using wires so into the non-inverting amplifier we will be using op amp and resistors so for registers we have to click on the place the basic and then select the registers and just select one kilo ohm registers and click on ok so here we selected the registers one more things i want to tell you here if you select registers into the footprints you can see here footprint manufacturer type so the first selections we selected no footprint but here you can select the footprint also okay these are the available footprints so you can select any footprints from here so let's select a chip r4 sorry a chip r04 and 02 click on ok and place it and just close it now here let me show you you can see it is black and here it is blue if it is black it means we didn't assign any footprint to the registers or any other components and here it is blue that means we have assigned uh, footprint to this register so the footprint is R04 and 02 now we can delete it either you can select it and press the delete into the keyboard or you can right click your mouse and delete it op amp so you can find op amp into the analog now you search just op07 find ok click on ok now the op amp is placed here now let's connect it into the non-inverting mode now you can select all these together and then place it into the middle and then zoom in so for in for amplifier we need two resistors one resistors at the pin number two and another resistors will be into the feedback from two to six now you can directly copy this resistor into this workspace right click and copy it or you can just control c and control v so now paste it using control v here just highlight it and left click here fine connect it click one click here and then add the six now we need to give a this is non-inverting amplifier so that we need to place this terminal to the ground and then we can give input to the pin number 3. So now we need a 
ground so for a ground you can find a ground from here source select a power source and then ground okay digital ground analog ground you can select here so it is analog device so we need analog ground and just close it fine now we need to give an input at pin number three and before giving input we need a power supply at pin number four and the pin number seven so come to this place and to the power source we need VCC and VEE. So the VCC will be connected pin number 7 and VEE will be connected with the at the pin number 4. Okay and close it. Connect this VCC to the 7 and VEE to the pin number 4. Fine. Now we need to give the input here. Now we have uh, two options to give input. Either you can select a source from here signal voltage source in AC voltage or we can take a function generator from here and if we take a function generator from here okay so here is a ramp wave sinusoidal and the square wave okay so we can give input from here and this is minus and it will be ground here and if you double click on it then we can select a frequency and the amplitude so maximum voltage can be applied here minus 5 to plus 5 so let's decrease this voltage to the 1 volt peak to peak okay and the offset is 0 fine now we need to see the output for seeing the output you can connect the oscilloscope and two channel and four channels so here is two channel oscilloscope so this is channel a and the second one is the channel b suppose that in the channel a we are taking the input and let's say into the channel b we are reading the output and this second terminal must be the ground so that we can copy this ground control c and control v okay fine so now everything is fine now just double click on the oscilloscope now you are seeing there is no response on oscilloscope that means we need to do something before seeing the output and that is we have to press this play or a run button and if you press this run button now you can see the oscilloscope is running output is running now you can set the time base and the channel voltage is scaling so the time base is here the 10 millisecond but input frequency is only one hertz so we need to increase this time scale okay so set it one second fine now see it and uh, here channel a is input and its scale is 5 volt we need to decrease it to the 1 volt just decrease it to the 1 volt okay and channel b scale is uh, 5 volt and it is a saturating fine now if you want to change the source just you can stop it from here and you can delete it and now change the source okay so let's take a AC voltage source and close it, connect it to the input and second terminal connect to the ground and double click on this AC terminal. So peak to peak voltage let's say here 0 0.5 volt and frequency let's say 1 hertz and click on the OK. Fine, so 0 0.5 volt peak to peak and amplification is here. You can see 1 plus 1 by 1, that is the 2, that means output must be the 1 volt. Because of that, input we are giving only the 0.5 volt. So, double click on the oscilloscope, now zoom it, and you can see here we have set the scale as 1 volt, and here is scale as 1 volt, and uh, you can see here comparison. So, it is channel B here. So the channel B is almost the uh, double of uh, channel A. Now how you can uh, means uh, differentiate channel A and channel B. You can just change the net color. So right click it and the change here segment color. So let's make it green. Okay and double click. 
and now run it fine so now you can see if we change the net color so the output color will also changed here so the red and the green red is the input and green is the output so thanks for watching this video tutorial and stay tuned for the next one subscribe this channel so that you can directly get the update into your inbox